I think I want to go down here first. Okay, there's a lot going on there. Actually, if you shoot at me, Boop. Okay, I messed that one up. Ow! I have my shield up. Hold on. Not what I wanted. Ow. Okay. I don't know how effective that's gonna be in the long run, but whatever. Ow, I'm really not good with the counters. But you know what I'm good with? Pressing the wrong buttons when I need them. I get more health with that. I'm just gonna eat myself a meat pie. Well, I jumped over that. Not really something that does anything for anyone. I'm gonna take the sheet. Oh. Whoop! There you go. That's what you get for picking up the thing. Anyway. I don't want either of those things. Ow! Good shot there. We want to try that a lot more. I'm still a little bit arrow starved. Thanks for that. I landed the other one. I'm already not getting any more arrows from that one. Oh, come on. You should stop making so much noise. You're really concerning. That was a close one. More arrows! More arrows! Because I will need a few. Okay, I guess that's it. Got that one. And got that one. I'm not gonna take any unnecessary risk with uh, shooting my arrows anywhere. Actually, I can just wait here a little bit. Oh, and collect a few more arrows. Because why not? Oh. If I, if I would have been moving, you would have gotten me there. Really, no more arrows from you already? Such a stingy one. Give me all of the arrows, please. All of them. I'm just... Really into collecting arrows right now. Is it a situation of like... If I can see where it lands, I get it? No, I don't think so. It's... I think it's legitimately just a thing of... At one point, uh, the game says... Yeah, you've had enough. We're cutting you off. Up. Oh, you're still alive though. And once Oh, I yeah, well I hit you in the arm. That's fair, that's good enough. I'm gonna take your horns. I don't care about the bows. But if you have you know a bit more shut your trap there. If you have a bit more arrows, I will take them off of your hand so fast. Oh, there was some fire stuff that they could have shot. Whatever! Managed to do that without that. Let's see what we get here. <laughs> ah, sorry. My inventory is full. I get a soldier boy. I got a soldier boy. Uh, I could get rid of just the traveler's bow 
for the soldier bow. Because that's a lot better. And also if I wanted to know what's in there. Pick up. Throw down! Didn't seem like there was anything interesting going on in there. Okay, so somewhere down there is a shrine apparently because it really peeps at me if I go that way. Um, climb? For crying out loud, climb. And let's recover our stamina yet again while climbing up a ladder. I've already told you how I feel about that. Oh. Oh, there's the shrine. There's also a quaint little village. With whatever the heck that's it, that is. So if I just... So wait, where are we coming from? There. There's something up there as well though. So if we just ride up there, take a quick look at that. And then we ride down there. Go to that village, do the shrine. We hear the nice little music every now and then. Hey, there's one of the dragons! I have all of the pins. First of all, delete that pin. And secondly, how about we delete all of these pins? But yeah, there's one of the dragons. Cool. Golby, we're going back up. Before we go back down. And boop, there we are. Hope you enjoyed the little spectacle there of me just running around grabbing arrows, Golby, because that's legitimately all I needed. It's just some arrows. But again, I said. Where the flip are you going, Golby? It's like the game is uh, tells you that even though you look the other direction, that's the way you want to ride, right? It's like it flips around the controls just for some reason. Hey, bud. What the flip? Oh, what? No, what the crap are you? I wanted to say for a moment, oh I know what you are, but the answer to that is I have actually no clue. Well that didn't do anything, I feel like. Okay, that's a Hinox. Okay. Hinox Middlekin. That actually does the trick pretty nicely. I don't know what else I need to be wary of with you, but you know if that's like all there is. We're doing good. You know we're fighting dangerous stuff uh, in the most precarious ways, which is which just uh, shooting bombs at it and it surprisingly enough works I don't want to climb down anything though I hope you're not regenerating health for some dumb reason because it feels like we're dealing so little damage only Come back here. Oops, fell down. Whoop. 
Okay, there goes that bow. Um, wait. Oh gosh. So actually, we're fighting something big here. Would most likely make the most sense to. Can I just? Oh, that's how that works. Yeet! Yeet! I love Jesus in games. Oh, come on. Hey, come back here. <clears throat> you have a weird, like, ball out of a shrine thingy around the neck. You're already a little bit hurt, didn't ya? Well, I mean, bombs will do that to you. Ah, oh, come on. But, there's the good thing, we have a lot of arrows again. And the bombs, I want to point out, do a surprisingly good job at dealing damage. Oh, you don't want me to hit your eye. I mean, understandable. Hitting your eye probably would deal a lot of damage there. Ah, gosh dang it. That was the first miss throw that we had. I need you to look a little bit more towards me, please. Or just, you know... Oh, wait, that was a mistake. That was nothing! Ah, come on. Let me blow up your beautiful eye! Oh, come on. Stop that. No, oh, that was a shot. And that's about everything I can say about that. Is that it was indeed a shot. Don't stub your toes there on the bomb, please. I can't wait till I learn a little bit more how to work this game in general so that I can actually have some a little bit more interesting fights but right now enjoy the cheeses that I find bye but that was definitely enjoyable roasted trout dragon Boko club I got a toenail and a tooth. Yeah, I'm not so sure about some of the stuff that I got. Blackened crab. Cool. So where exactly does that ball belong to? Because I have it now. Oh, there's a spear there. Like, uh, seriously, I only have that now and I have no idea where to go with that. I just know that that, that is useful for something. Oh. Apparently we knocked on the beast as well along the fight. Hey, some ice arrows. It's almost like they wanted to set me up with some good stuff before I go into that fight. Now I said, no, I'm fine, I have bombs. could upgrade the bombs in any other way than I would okay I don't know why but something tells me that I want to carry that ball up there I don't know why and I feel like it's also gonna be a problem once I'm up there if I just have the ball with me because something's gonna try to shoot it out of my hand or something else but I feel like it's gonna be a problem. It's just how I feel like my life's gonna go now. Well, I need more than one ball. Come on. Come on, drop in there. 
Oh, come on. But that doesn't do it. Yep. That did do it, however. Okay, let's see what that thing exactly tells me to do. The ancient orbs guarded by the giants of Mount Tara lead to the shrine. Oh, so I need to defeat three Bokoblins. Uh, he knocks to deal with that. So something tells me that there's another one down there. Hey Stella, how's it going? I'm fine. Having some fun cheesing some Hinox here right now. Stop that. Thanks for the chatty. Good to hear that you're doing fine as well. What are you... I don't know what the crowd you have there. Don't worry about a thing. I don't stream daily, I stream uh, once a week or at least I try to stream twice a week now. Thunderstorm rod. That sounds like it's gonna be useful for that. What can I... Oh, it's just a shield. I try to stream in the future on Thursday and on Saturday. That's at least the idea and the goal there. But yeah, we'll see how well things go. Thanks for the fo follow. Okay, that's really interesting. Hi. Oh. Um. You know? I'm fine. I'm just gonna take that. Bye. Not even. Thanks. Not even trying to fight that thing. If you're just giving that to me as is, I'm not gonna complain one bit about that. That was a bit too easy there. So, dealt with that, Tinox. Easy. Didn't even have to cheese that one. That one just gave that orb to me w willingly. Uh, I'm from Austria. And I don't mind. But yeah, that's where my where my weird accent comes from. Okay, I would suspect that's where the last of the three is. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to carry that one up there as well. I feel surprisingly fine about being up here. Hey! Wake up! Wake up, I said! I'm up here! Oh wait, that was too... I feel like... This is a cheese isn't going to go as far as the last one. But we'll see about that. Got you. I'll just... Okay. Oh! Well, that did not hit me. Wanna try that again? High level skills are needed for this kind of gameplay. Got you in the eye. Should have thought about that before you looked up at me, idiot. Come on, look up at me again. Oops. Yeah, still fine. Ah. Hey, Lappy, thank you for the following. For the follow. It means a lot to me, really. Can I? Yep, gotcha again. You really should cover your eye. You know, your 
brother on the other side really knew how to cover his eye. You're just, you know, wide open. Hi there, how's it going? You good? Good. You're French? Nice. <laughs> Come on, look up at me again. Oh yeah, you're the youngest kin. Oh, so I didn't even fight the oldest one. I fought the middle kin and now I'm fighting the youngest kin. I didn't even touch the oldest one. The oldest one was just laying around and gave that orb to me willingly. Knowing that I was just gonna murder him in some cheap way. Well, too bad for the rest of them. A very good yes. I'm... Skill. The highest of skills. Oh no, my bow's about to break. Look at me again. You're really an idiot. You should... You know, if I ask you to look at me while I have a bow aimed at your face, you should not... You should not do that at all. Like, that's, that's on you. It's my... I mean, it's technically not. Still, it's on you. Come on, look at me again. Yeah, I really should not listen to anything I say to you. Oh, I have the knight's bow still left. Interesting that this aims from here. That's a lot of damage. You know what? While you're wailing in pain there, I can just throw a bomb at you and deal some uh, follow-up damage with just that. Because it takes some time till you get your eye up again. Look at me and you'll see a world of bombs. Oh yeah, actually. Ow, that hurt. And also I should probably not carry around the... Oh, there's some wood. Oh yeah, because you... You uh, tried to throw rocks at me and every, uh, every everything else. Wolf fruit. Cool. He looks guts. Delicious. Now we can make the Highland equivalent of um, Haggis. So I'm good. Thank you. Well, another. He knocks rather easily dealt with. I'm not gonna complain about that. That was fun, that was easy. It's nice of them to actually showcase the Hinox for me here. And giving me so many good ways to cheese them right away as well. Like that was unnecessarily easy. Probably if I were to go and fight the oldest one then that might pose a little bit more of a problem. But yep, yeah, those two were easy. Just a little bit of cheesing around. Especially that one didn't even cover his eyes. The other one at least covered his eye every now and then. Maybe because I was that high up. Ta-da! And now... Oh, there we go. Hmm. Uh, follow me to this, yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh, I thought for a second there was something there. The three giant brothers completed. Let's... Tiva Chin Shrine. That's a good name. That is indeed a great name. Well, let's see if this... Is yet another shrine that tests our strength or if we have something a bit more intricate going on this time or not. Let's see, there's water. Tabachin's blessing. Am I just getting the orb from you? Maybe because I had to fight the three, uh, the, yeah, the three here. Great Thunderblade! 
Oh, that can be remedied rather easily. What do I not need? I mean, the club is probably not useful. You know what? If I need a torch, I light something on fire, I guess. We're not gonna use that as a weapon now, though. Not yet. Hey there, bud. Is there anything else around here, by the way? Anything behind your shrine? No, we're good, we're cool. Nice. Then, Bloop. <sighs> we have done well to arrive at this shrine. The hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. On the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. That's my fourth one, so I can increase something again. Either health or stamina. I still suck in terms of health, so I probably should go with that. I'm still kind of wimpy. So I probably should take that. May the goddess smile upon you. And upon you. And upon you. May the goddess smile upon all of us. Also, thanks for looking after that for me for so long. Well, there we go. Dealt with three Henox. Got a nifty weapon out of that. And I have no idea where I left my horse. Oh, I think I left Golby down there. Where the first Henox was. Yeah, over there. Yeah, I see you. Because that's where we got, uh, got up. And... Beautiful. I love when... Things just work out so beautifully. Dealt with a small guardian again. And dealt with three Henox. More or less the way intended, I wanna say. Oh yeah, and there's the other shrine as well. Which I'm not gonna deal with today anymore. Because I'm already getting at time. Because I don't have that much time today. Seeing how this is out of the ordinary anyway. And wasn't a planned stream. I'm just going down there because I want to check out what the village is about. That also looks like there could be something. But ultimately I want to try to get I think all of the sliding down a little bit. I want to get all of the um, shrines. Ultimately that would be really good. But let's see how long that will take. I mean okay I played through Dark Souls. I'm not a stranger to long running games. Lurelin Village. Okay. Okay, Galby, you just stay there and wait. Okay, so the shrine is somewhere in that direction. Good to know. I'm gonna take a quick look around this village and I think then I'm gonna leave this whole thing here. So, hello everyone. Phew. You're a traveler. I'm a fisherman of this village, but we're in a bit of a bind lately. Monsters is taking over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull in a good haul at every speech, but these days you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough. Think you could take care of them? Consider it done. Good stuff. Remember, it's called Ares Beach. The monsters have set up shop there. Stay sharp. I might. Mom, some cooking is the best. Aww. Don't dare me to cook here. You don't want me to cook here. Like, I guarantee you. Whatever comes out of my cooking... Not the most healthy, I would suspect. I mean, I'm talented for what I cook up and how I cook. Hi. Welcome! You must be tired from your long trip. Do you want to stay? I could stay for a night. Why not? Uh, until morning, please. 
I mean, I'm fully healed. That's not the thing. That's not the reason why I want to sleep now. It's just that I think I never slept in an inn in this game. Ooh, the blood moon rises. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I've killed is gone. It's gonna come back. That means the Hinox that I took care of are back. Did you sleep well? As a little treat uh, for staying with us, please feel free to use the raft at the dock. Come again. Well, I can take a raft. What an odd thing to just offer up for sleeping somewhere. I like it. This is a mini game. Place your bets. Psst, come here. No, closer. How'd you like to be rich without having to work for it? Hey, <laughs> simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. It's kind of in the gray area. See those treasure chests over there? What you say to a little wager on them? The idea is you pick any chest you want and open it. Simple, right? The best part is whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you pick wrong. Before you go opening any boxes, you have to show me what what it's worth to you. Oh. What's a bet after all if you don't stand to lose a bundle on it? That's the part that really gets a man's on racing. It's up to you how much you want to throw in. But the more you bet, the more you stand to win. A man like you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash. Right here, right now. Am I right? What you say? Oh well, yeah. All I've got to lose is your pride. And your money. I'm in. Atta boy! Now for the million rupee questions. How much are you betting? I'm gonna start off with 50. <laughs> now we're talking. Looks like someone's ready to make some real money. A good setup. No peeking while I'm fiddling with the chests. Got it? There we go. Step right up and take your chance. Take all the time you need to choose. It's just to open. look, listen, smell, taste them if you think it'll help. Can I? No, I cannot do anything with that. Stasis camera? Uh -huh. Don't see how that would help me. Can I? Let's just check something. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Can just open then. I don't know if there's anything else, but let's go with right. I got 100 rupees. Ooh. Nice, fine. See what comes to those who bet big? You're gonna keep going, right? Or do you admit defeat? I admit defeat. Mm. I hear you. Hey, if that's what you want. Fair enough. Every good gambler knows there is a time to walk away. I'm always here in case you ever feel like trying your luck again. Hey Mimiri. How's it going? Got this stream kind of in the tail end there. But let's see if there is a shop in here as well. Well there's some smoke there. Doesn't look like there's any shops around here though. A palm fruit, also no also called and known as a coconut. Maybe you have something up there. Hello. Affordable and delicious. Fresh fish just recently caught. Take a look. I'll buy. Okay, I would love could take you stopped it I'm sorry it's that's still pricey the shock arrows would be nice but that's also pricey Hi. do I have something that I can sell I probably have some resources that I don't need anymore this is just my rock salt the flint that I'm gonna keep uh, luminous stone Souls of the dead. This one can be used to make special clothing. Okay. 
It contains the power of water. Interesting. So as far as I'm concerned, they are just for selling. <laughs> just how far I'm concerned. And if that's not the case... Good, finished the Twilight Princess series yesterday. The movie because I didn't know the books is existed. I'm now almost done with the first book. Oh, cool. Yeah, my uh, girlfriend uh, read the books and was more a fan of the books than of the movies. And I haven't done either. I haven't seen the movies and I haven't re read the books. But that's just on me. Can I steal your fish? Do you like fish? Yeah, I like fish. Does that fish look delicious? I caught it myself too. You're welcome to help yourself. I cooked way too much for just myself alone. Oh! A roasted porgy! I'm gonna take two of them. I'm gonna keep... Oh, that's a harpoon. Cool. I'm gonna keep you... I let you keep one of them because you probably don't need more than one of them. So you're, you're gonna be happy with that. I'm gonna be happy with that. Both gonna be so happy with that. And we're gonna be well fed. That's how it goes. Books go more in the depth than the movies. It's also easier to go in depth with a book because you can explain more from a character's point of view as well. Which... It's a little bit more difficult with movies, it's doable as well, but you can go more into the psyche of a character and show them thinking a lot easier than you can with a movie. Because a movie is a visual medium, it's easier to show them doing something and how they interact with everything than, than just having it in a monologue for like half an hour or so. Which would be pretty boring at one point. Well, I don't think there's a lot that I can do here. I mean, there's the smoke over there that I definitely want to check out and whatever that is in the background there. 